Hello? <laughs> I'm back. I've been at this for days now, just at this radio station, calling for help, looking for help, and nobody's responded. Nobody's come. How can that be? Am I really the only one left? It is so lonely out there, you have no idea. I've been walking for days, trying to find anything, just something to survive, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. There's nothing else. My family, it's gone. My wife, my three children, I, they're gone. This thing is so fast, it, it ran through the city so fast that I just, I couldn't even get us out. By the time we went back to our homes, it is so bad out there, guys. And I don't know what else to do. You know, it's, it's hard to tell when somebody has been infected until you get up really close, but by then it's too late. You try to lend a hand to somebody and before you know it, your final act of kindness is the end of you. My whole body hurts now. It's hot, it's, I'm sweating. I just can't stop shaking. I can't believe this is what my, my, my wife felt before the end. I, she seemed so calm. But inside, she was, she was on fire. I've got nothing left. I hope God can forgive me for what I'm about to do. But I just want to see my wife and children again. The way that I remember them. Before this, before, before all of this. I hope they can forgive me. I hope I can forgive myself. I'm not an example. People, if there's anyone out there, just keep going. Keep doing what you need to do. But as for me, it's over. Stay vigilant, people. Godspeed.